Hey guys, Luke here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make YouTube channel art without Photoshop. Be sure to hit the subscribe button down below and click the bell icon to be notified every time I upload a new video. So this is honestly the simplest method that's out there right now in order to create your YouTube channel art if you don't have Photoshop. So what you want to do is click the first link in the description down below and that's going to take you to canva.com. Now simply all you want to do is sign up for canva.com and then log in up here. What's really neat about canva.com is that you can actually log in to the software with your YouTube channel and it's completely free. So just click on log in, then just click on log in with Google and then that's going to open up the usual login authorization. And then all you have to do is click I accept and then it's going to load this dashboard up here in which you can create a design. Now obviously because I've used this software before it's going to come up with a little quick link up at the top here saying YouTube channel art. But because you haven't used it before you may need to go ahead and look for it yourself if it isn't up here. So what you want to do is click on find templates and then wait for that to load up and then it's going to load a little search bar up here. And in there all you need to do is type in YouTube channel art and then search for that. So as you can see under YouTube channel art here, there are absolutely hundreds that you can choose from. And honestly, you don't need to make one from scratch because there's more than enough here to choose from in order to make one just from a template. And as you can see down the bottom, there's actually nine pages worth of them. So you want to find one that you like. I quite like this black and pink lines beauty YouTube channel art. Obviously, it says it's beauty, but it doesn't have to be. And then if you hover over, it, it says edit this template. You want to click on that. And then it's going to load up a description on what the template actually is and it's going to show the template itself. So you want to click on edit this template and that's going to load the Canva editor and honestly it's the most simple editor you'll ever use. So it hasn't got all the features of Photoshop, it just cuts right to the chase and only gives you the features that you need when you click on a certain item. So down the side here you see you've got the search icon, you've got the layouts, elements, text, background and uploads. So on the layout section here, it shows you all the layouts that were on the previous page. And if you don't like the one that you've actually clicked on, you can now switch to a different layout. All you have to do is click on it and it will come up with a little pop-up box saying, are you sure you want to change it? You just have to click yes and then it will load that one straight in. On the elements tab, you can see that Canva provides you with a numerous amount of different elements. You've got free photos that they're providing you with, grids so that you can put your photos in collages, frames, shapes, lines, illustrations, icons, charts, and also I love Canva. That's just their watermark. If you want to put their watermark in the bottom right hand corner of your YouTube channel art, then you can do that. But I wouldn't recommend it. It makes your channel look a bit unprofessional. Just stick with the templates that they're giving you. So in order to edit the template, all you need to do is double click on a certain piece of text and then it will load up the text editor. It's going to give you all the options that you'd get in something like Microsoft Word. You've got the font, the size of the font, the color of the font, whether you want it bold, in italics, the alignment of the writing, so you can have it to the left, center, to the right, you know how it goes. Um, then you've also got the spacing and some bullet points, but you're mostly gonna be focusing on the font and stuff like the size and color. So you just wanna put in your name here. So I'm just gonna put in my name there. And then underneath, you probably wanna put something like a tagline, so new videos every Saturday and Sunday. And then it's really, really simple. All you need to do is then click download. Then this little box is gonna pop up. It says file type PNG recommended. That's the YouTube recommended format for YouTube channel art. So you're gonna to wanna to keep that one there. But obviously if it's on any of the other options, then you're gonna to wanna to change it to PNG recommended. Then all you need to do is click download and it's just gonna say hold tight, we're preparing your design and then it's gonna have a little uh, quote down there, which is quite sweet. Then it's gonna download it to your computer. It will download it probably into your downloads folder. And then it's really, really simple. All you gotta do is go to your YouTube channel and upload the channel art. So there's honestly not that much to it at all, but it's really, really simple to use. And honestly, anyone can use this. So go ahead and take a look at it and obviously play around with it and maybe make some channel art for your YouTube channel. If you like this video, or if it helped you, please be sure to hit the like button down below. And as always, I'll see you all in the next video.